What's up, people? It's the Oracle. Welcome back to our Pokemon Stadium 2 Let's Play. Last episode, we took on Falconer, the first gym leader, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the next, who happens to be... Bugsy. Alright. A Bugcatcher, Twins, and Azalea gym leader, Bugsy. So let's choose some fire types for this battle. Why don't we go with... Fire Punch on Charizard, really? We'll bring him. Why not? So let's bring Charizard. Let's bring... Why does Cynical have Flamethrower? I don't understand. Let's bring him anyways. Cyndaquil. And now can't do legendaries. Um Flareon? Was that Flareon? Fire Blast though, I don't want Fire Blast. It's inaccurate. Uh, I'm sure Growlithe has flamethrower. Yep, let's bring Growlithe. Ooh. Ember? <laughs> and he has flamethrower. That's just that's wrong. The rentals. Let's see, who'd we give? Magby. He's pretty sweet. I'll bring Magmar. I've always loved Magby, he's such a cool Pokemon. Um, we'll bring some randoms just in case. Typhlosion, good idea. And why don't we bring... Icy Wind. Maybe someone has Ice Beam. Ice pump. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Those are sweet attacks. We're definitely going to bring a whooper. Earthquake. Oh my gosh. What else do you have? Surf. Ice beam. Don't you dare make fun of bug Pokemon. One dream of it. See, he has bug Pokemon and then he has a Geodude. So we can't bring all uh, fire types. So why don't we do Typhlosion, Cyndaquil, and Whooper because he's sick. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. I don't know why it's down so low. There we go. A little better. He's an out Typhlosion. I love gold and silver. Those games were just, they were, I don't know if they were better than the first generation, because the first generation, you know, is the first generation, but I don't know, I liked them a lot. That was the first Pokemon game I actually played. Because I wasn't old enough yet when Blue and red came out. Wow, oh, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, I got that square rectangle uh, Game Boy Advanced. I had Monkey Ball, which was a sweet game where you just run around that ball and uh, the monkey's in one of those blow up balls and you run around and try to collect bananas with it. And I had Pokemon Gold, which was great. I might do a Pokemon Gold Let's Play on this channel. Cause that game was amazing. Swift. Nice. Flame Wolves did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Uh, why don't we just use... Yeah, Flame Wolves has 25 PP, why not? We're not going to waste anything. Especially with these Swifts. He was a good Pokemon, I remember. My brother used to have one, because whenever I would get a game, my brother would get the opposite. So, like, say I get gold, he would get silver. I get ruby, or I get sapphire, he gets ruby. So we would always battle each other, and I remember him having one of those. And he would have Earthquake on it, and fly, and I would just get so angry. Ratatata? Ratity? Oh, it was burned. That sucks. Sorry, it doesn't matter. Another flame will take him down, anyways. 
quick attack. What will it do? That was a glancing blow. The finishing blow? So Typhlosion with a 3 0 sweep. Not too bad at all. Rat a teddy. What kind of name is that? I'm just gonna stop with looking at these names on the Pokemon Pokemon Stadium because they just make no sense. Chaz. Bug catcher Chaz, take it down. Let's have another battle sometime. Yeah, we'll see, Chaz. Alright, next up are the twins. Continue. You'll be surprised at how strong we are. Okay, you evolved first evolutions. Let's go. Uh, let's go Magmar. Let's go Wooper. Let's go Typhlosion. Yeah. Sounds like a good team. Their next opponents are twins, Min and Lin. Don't let the fact that their children fool you. Overconfidence here could be disastrous. Could be disastrous. Jigglypuff? Oh my goodness, look at the HP on Jigglypuff. Let's go with a fire punch. Both get ready to go. Mr. Butthead. The shot. Hit. That is the okay, it's a decent amount. What will the other side do? Oh gosh, and paralyzed. I just don't want to get to where Jimmy Puff is using Sing. Body slams I could probably take. Actually, I don't think I could take too many more body slams. And I'm paralyzed, yeah. Okay, see, this is where we could run into problems. Alright, well, on to critical. Let's go with Wooper. He is small, but he packs a punch. Let's see what Earthquake can do. Oh my gosh, 15 HP left. My attack fell. We use Surf. Two hundred and nine health. That's way too much for a Jigglypuff. I don't know why they do that. Uh, we are actually gonna switch out here back into Typhlosion because the only ice attack that Wooper knows is Ice Punch, and his attack was just sharply lowered. So we don't want that to affect us. Typhlosion should be able to take anything the Sun Sun tries to dish out, so we'll see. Mega Drain, alright, shouldn't do too much at all. One Flame Mail should take him now, 116 HP. I'm guessing Sun Sun's defense is not the best. Boom. Love the way that looks. There we go. Maybe Wooper wasn't the best choice, because I think Grass is times four super effective against him. Because he's ground and he's water, so... Might not have been the best idea to bring him into this. The only thing, like, I have memories of Gold and Silver, but I really haven't played them since I played them when I was a kid. And the only thing I remember is that one gym leader's mill tank. And that thing was insane. I remember having to save right before and battling her four or five times before I could take her down. I had to use all these different potions and everything like that. I don't remember what the gym leader's name was. 
I remember what the gym looks like though in the city that it was in. They like train, not train tracks in it, but it was like split up. Oh, we took it down. So we took them down, Min and Lin. And all we have left is Bugsy with his interesting hair. Azalea Gym Leader Battle. Okay. So he has an interesting team as well. Let's go. Charizard, Typhlosion. We'll go Wooper for that Pupitar. Butterfreeze is first. All right, it's a good matchup for us. Let's just start out with a fire punch. There it goes. That struck home. Psychic? On a oh yeah, okay. Makes sense. Hit the weak spot. Does that mean a critical? Doesn't really matter. He should be done after this hit. But all right, in po Pokemon Stadium Two, the Opponents start talking and you can see their dialogue boxes like that But they'll talk like mid-battle and sometimes it means a critical or like a paralysis. They say something different I don't know. They should just have them say when it's a critical. It's a critical Shimp oh hyper beam on a scyther Wow, I've never seen something something KO'd by hyper beam However, Hyper Beam is the worst move. It's not that strong, and you have to take a turn to re uh, to regen. So, by the time the Scyther is done regening, our Typhlosion will have two Flame Mills on him. See. All right, so that's about fifty percent. One more should be enough. Wing attack? Alright, that did a decent amount of damage. There we go. Scyther goes down. Why? This can't be happening. Bugsy's freaking out. It's like he's never lost a battle. I thought he used Pupitar for sure. Why well, run Wooper? Hopefully we don't get taken down because I don't know how Wooper is gonna finish out Weeping Bell. And he probably won't have to. Sludge Bomb? Wow, it did a lot. Oh, he's got a berry. Doesn't matter. That flame will do way too much damage to come back from. Unless it misses, but I think it's 100% accuracy. I'm not positive. There we go. And battle. Very nice. Typhlosion's been doing pretty good for us. Still had Wooper left. I don't know why I brought Wooper. It's a bad idea. I was just unlucky. Excuses, excuses. Alright. Oh, it's Whitney. Whitney's mill tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we take down Bugsy, and that's going to be it for this episode. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. It really helps to get my videos out there to more people. And in the next episode, we will take down Whitney. So I will see you guys then.